Now, a general principle which may explain all of this stuff uh, is the uh, metric of entropy or the measure of order or disorder. So the idea I want to submit is that on this kind of um, dimension of entropy, this, this sort of dimension of order essentially, there's a kind of sweet spot. So uh, these are ideas that are talked, to, talked about a lot at the moment in cognitive neuroscience and systems neuroscience. There's a kind of perfect place uh, there's a perfect balance between kind of formlessness or complete disorder and complete uh, stability, but so stability to the extent or order to the extent that the system then becomes inflexible. So for consciousness to be poised in this kind of optimal place where we can scrutinize the world in the best way, uh, learn the, uh, you know, the nature of the world, uh, um, in the most optimal way and yet retain flexibility given that the world is changeable, then there's a kind of sweet spot where the system has to be, where it's perfectly balanced between disorder and order. And so this would be normal waking consciousness. So I'm sure you probably all guessed where the psychedelic state might be on this trajectory and it's over to the left. Uh, so some states which share a phenomenology with a psychedelic state which probably also show uh, this um, sort of increase in, in disorder in the parameters that define uh, uh, the activity which underlies the states. REM sleep dreaming, early psychosis, the sensory deprived state, deep meditatory states such as this non-dual awareness, the near-death experience and the psychedelic state. So states which may kind of veer to the right and become too stable, too rigid, so that the kind of flexible quality of consciousness is lost, would be seizure, for instance. So people tend to think that as a, think of that as a chaotic state, but that's misleading. It's not chaotic. There's very synchronous activity in the brain in seizure, so it is a too organized state. There's too much order to such an extent that there's no flexibility and one loses consciousness. Sedation, again, a very highly synchronous state, deep sleep, and depression is probably over on this side as well, a too fixed, a too ordered state. So this should give you a feel for uh, kind of what, uh, how brain activity maps onto different conscious states. So a metaphor for mind expansion, some of this stuff might, people might read as being somehow, I don't know, when people are so sort of enamored by the psychedelic experience, they prefer not to think of it as a kind of chaos in the brain. Um, uh, and I, I don't really present this to make people feel better. I just think that this helps explain um, the principles here. So this principle of entropy, you know, it, it's a very intriguing metric because it makes sense in a, both a um, sort of qualitative way, uh, a measure of, of order and disorder, but it also makes sense on an information level because in information theory, entropy is synonymous with uh, uncertainty. So here's an example. In this top uh, row, we have a uh, high order, we have a constraint there, and the system is, uh, all the particles in the system are confined to this compartment. Now if we were to make a prediction about the spatial location of, of any particular particle, we could do so with high certainty. We would know that the probability of a particle being in the left side is, is certain. We know it's going to be there, there's a constraint, it has to be there. Now, if we remove that constraint and the particles can go anywhere, we lose our confidence about where a particular particle might be in the system. So this is a, a metaphor. This metaphor of increasing entropy helps, under, helps us understand the phenomenology of the state. So other sy uh, synonyms or um, alternative terms for entropy that are used uh, in, in mathematics or in physics are freedom, disorder, and uncertainty. So all these things are increased, and a, a metaphor, so if there's something for you to take home, if you don't understand the neuroscience, but you want to understand the principles, then this is an important slide, really, you know, that a metaphor for the psychedelic state is one of increasing entropy, or entropy increasing. Um, and the expansion of a gas is maybe a useful uh, metaphor for understanding what's going on in terms of the mechanics of the brain. It's also worth thinking that arguably the most fundamental principle in physics, this uh, second law of thermodynamics, that systems kind of left to themselves will show increasing entropy. You know? So when systems die, when, they, when they're not driven, they move towards disorder. 
it's intriguing to think in, in terms of the overlaps between the near-death experience, for instance, and the psychedelic state, that somehow, you know, there's a kind of, we're seeing the principle of the second law of thermodynamics, that there's a kind of model, in a way, of brain death with the psychedelic state.